Hello, this is Peter Marzano with BigFourSports.com, and I'm going to give you a sports re recap of our Big Four Sports throughout the day of April 2nd, 2013. Now, first, let's start our Major League Baseball. We had a great day today. Everything's starting to settle in. It's the day after opening day, so let's see what happened. First, Rockies took down the Brewers 8-4. to Great game by Troy Tulitsky and Carlos Gonzalez for Colorado. Helped them to get to their first win of the year. That's good news for them. St. Louis Cardinals took down the Arizona Diamondbacks 6-1, evening out that series right now. Matt Holliday hits a homer. Pretty basic game right there. San Francisco replicates what the Dodgers did yesterday against them. They win 3-0 in a shutout victory. Matt Baumgartner gets a win. Great game pitched by him. Great game from the San Francisco Giants. And your defending world champions now have a win in the books. Over to the American League, the Seattle Mariners took down the Oakland Athletics 7-1 for the second game in a row. Mariners looking pretty good through the first two games. Let's see how the other 160 go. The Baltimore Orioles took down the Tampa Bay Rays 7-4, putting themselves at a win to start the season. Great game played by the Orioles in Tampa, so they showed that they're still obviously very competent today. Cleveland Indians took down the Toronto Blue Jays in their respective season openers. Justin Masterson played a great game for the Indians. R.A. Dickey, not so much for the Blue Jays. At the same time, you never know, it's the first game. But the Indians walked away with the victory. And the Texas Rangers, Hugh Darvish, was one out away from a perfect game. Didn't quite get it, but at the same time, the Texas Rangers walk away with what is most important, which is the victory. 7 to nothing. Rangers win over to Houston Astros. Hugh Darvish, great game played once again. Over to the court, the New York Knicks did what one team needed to do, just as the Chicago Bulls did last week, the New York Knicks did this week. New York takes down Miami Heat 102-90. to Carmelo Anthony slams down 50 points for the Knicks. Great game played by them. The Knicks are on fire again. They may be a force to come with once the playoffs start. The Washington Wizards upset the Chicago Bulls. Pretty surprising game right there. John Wall puts down 27 points. Great game by the Wizards, keeping themselves in the playoff race, mathematically for that matter. And the LA Lakers giving themselves some breathing room within their playoff situation. They beat the Dallas Mavericks 101-81 at the Staples Center. Kobe Bryant still showing he has it in this game. And that puts the Lakers in a more comfortable spot within that 8 seed in the Western Conference of the NBA. Over to the ice, we had some great games tonight. First, to start off, the Boston Bruins taking down their division rival, Ottawa Senators, 3-2. Tyler Sagan, Milan Lucic, great games. Andre Kudobin, 45 saves for the Bruins. New York Islanders beat the Winnipeg Jets, 5-2. Franz Nielsen leads the Islanders, and hey, they have a playoff spot now. Who knows what can happen there? Perhaps their first playoff appearance since 2007. The Washington Capitals take down the Carolina Hurricanes. Capitals at a very slow start to the season. They're in the hunt for a playoff spot right now. Capitals win 5-3, despite Yuri Tulsi's hat-trick for the Carolina Hurricanes. Nicholas Backstrom, Alex Ovechkin, and the rest of the Capitals crew shut down their division rivals. Florida Panthers take down their cross-state rivals at Tampa Bay Lightning in the shootout. Jacob Markstrom played a great game for Florida with 39 saves, offsetting most of the Tampa Bay shots throughout the night. Tampa Bay picks up a point, but what was once a promising season for that team doesn't look so right now. The Buffalo Sabres then put an end to the historic 15-game winning streak in the undefeated month of March that the Pittsburgh Penguins had by beating them 4-1, offsetting Jerome McGinley's first goals Penguin. Sabres scored often and early and ended up holding that lead to break the Penguins' hope at making their own history. The Nashville Predators beat the worst of the West in the Colorado Avalanche, recovering from last night's loss against Chicago. This puts Nashville at their 15th win of the year. Pecorine played a great game. David Laguan was there on offense, and the Predators have recovered. They're still in the hunt for a playoff spot. And lastly, in the West, the Phoenix Coyotes take down the Los Angeles Kings, what was relatively an upset. Big win for the Coyotes here. That's their 15th win of the year. They're keeping themselves somewhat in the playoff race. Hurts the Kings a little bit to not get that one. And that's all we have for you today. This has been Peter Marzano from BigForceSports.com. Get some sleep tonight, and we'll see you here tomorrow.